Fanboy and Comic Girl, A Love Story by Mr. E. Hi, I'm James from Ingvid, and you're probably wondering what the hell am I talking about? Fanboy and Comma, comma Girl. Okay. She's a superhero, and our boy loves her. In case you don't know what a fanboy is, because you may not uh, follow comics or movies as religiously as these guys do, I've got a definition for you. So let's just read. What is a fanboy? A person who is loyal to a game, person, or company, regardless if it sucks or not. That's not quite true, but what they are talking about is that fanboys love their products. If they love Apple, it is the best the universe has ever produced. And if Apple does something wrong, help them. Somebody help them because they will be angry. But generally put, they just love their products so much they let everybody know about them. Anybody with ears that will listen or who cannot escape from them. All right. So how does this have anything to do with English and grammar? Well, this is a grammar lesson. And I find sometimes grammar can be incredibly boring. So let's make it a little bit fun. So we created a love story by Mr. E. Now, <clears throat> let's start off with comma, because what is this lesson about? It's how, well, conjunctions, which I'm going to get to, work with commas and sentences. Some of you might have problems with them. I mean, some of you might even go, conjunctions, what are they? So I'm going to talk about the most common conjunctions, and I'm going to talk about uh, comma usage, okay? I'm going to do a quick lesson here, and uh, I'll make it fun. Are you ready? So the first thing we should talk about is a comma. What is a comma? It's a punctuation mark. When you have sentences, there's a time to take a breath or to complete it, okay? Now, periods, you may know, end sentences or end thoughts. A comma sometimes gives us a breath or it gives us a pause between parts of a sentence or gives you time to catch your breath or get part of an idea, okay? We also use it for lists. There's Frank, okay? Frank, Billy, John, Susie, you know, lists, list of things. Knives, forks, scissors, da, 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 and you'll have comma, 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 separating them, keeping them individual. And finally, we can also, well, there's more uses, but these are general. We can use them for numbers, large numbers. You notice we could say a thousand, there'll be a comma to indicate thousand, and then two commas to indicate one million. So larger, numbers larger than a thousand, you'll have commas somewhere, All right? That's basically what the comma is used for, three different uses. So what if fanboys? Well, I told you they're excited about everything, right? Well, there's a little bit more than that. They're conjunctions. And if we look here, I wrote conjunctions and I put exactly what a conjunction is. It means to join something together. In this case, when we have usually conjunctions, we join two ideas together. If we use a conjunction with a comma, normally you're going to have clauses. And the clauses will be balanced or equal. Okay, later on we'll go into all of that. But that's what's going to happen when we have usually a comma and a conjunction. You know, there are clauses being used and they're balanced. But what are the conjunctions, you might ask? Well, let's start off with, these are the basic ones. There are more, but these are the most common ones. And we use this acronym, which is a, a word made up from the first letter of each word. So you have something that's easy to remember. And I chose fanboys. And in a second, I'll reveal why. For, it gives you a reason. Why did they do this? Okay. And ideas that go together. Remember I just said clauses that come together? I'll explain a clause in a second or two. Nor, it's also ideas that go together, but they're negative, right? So if and is two things that are positive, nor is negative. But is for contrasting. So I like this, but I don't want this. Or an exception. You can go, but your friend can't go, right? Exceptions. Or it gives you a choice. You can go for this, or you can go for that. Or you can go for that, or, right? You can have this, or that. Yet is similar to but, and so gives you a result. We were tired, so we went home. Okay? Now, I do want to go back up to here, because I've seen, I've taken this, and I've made an acronym. Fanboys are loyal and follow their object of affection. Object of affection is love, things they love. Okay? Now, I'm giving you a small hint on how the grammar works. You'll have a comma, then the conjunction, right? Comma girl, that's our superhero and fanboys. And I made this video because I am a fanboy. You should have known this by the other Batman videos. I've done 50 million of them. Time to go to work. 
And in saying that, uh, if I can get the shirt off, we'll be back. All right, let's go. So we talked about fanboys following mysterious comma girl, right? So let's get back to our story. I explained some things, but we didn't put it together. I mean, why well, called it a love story? I'm going to tie the love story into the grammar to make it clear for you, all right? Because now you know what fanboy means and it's an acronym. You know what a comma is supposed to do. And I think I mentioned it before and I just want to make sure I hit it again. I told you that those were three uses when we talk about numbers, we talk about giving pause or doing lists. That's three. There's seven or more things you can use commas for. And those are just three I, I just threw out at you because we want to keep this lesson simple, right? So let's go to our idea here. So. How is it a love story? How do we know it's a love story? Well, we talk about coordinating conjunctions. I told you what a conjunction was, right? Con and junk, meaning together. And coordinating means order. So it creates an order, right? When two complete ideas are joined, and what do you mean by a complete idea? Think of a subject and a verb, right? We have to have a subject and a verb to complete a sentence. When you have a, a phrase, for instance, you just have of, uh, you know, like a subject, so you'll have a fat cat. It doesn't really go anywhere. It's doing anything. It's just about the fat cat, right? So we need a complete idea, like he lives here, right? So when two complete ideas are joined by a conjunction, right? We have two different ideas and we put them together. We need a comma, but in doing so, we have to make sure they're balanced. So it means both must be complete ideas, right? So he loves ice cream and he loves Coca-Cola. Now, in that case, to be honest, when you use and, a lot of times the comma is optional. Don't tell anybody that, because the lesson is that you have to use it. But we can use it for, well, we have examples over here and some down here, we'll go to them now. But we can see how we have to have first the comma, then the conjunction. And this is what the love story is. Because whenever we have this balance and this harmony, think of harmony, and I'm sure you can hear angels, and little fluttering of doves, okay? Comma girl is followed by these fanboys wherever she goes. For, and, but, nor, yeah, yet, and so are following her everywhere. And you see here this, this comma girl running away like, you're stalking me. And, and, and so are yet going, but we love you, comma girl, we love you. We have to follow. And that's what you have to do. When you have two balanced sentences joined by a conjunction, what you want to do is put your comma down, the first idea, and then put your conjunction and then put the second idea. Remember, they must be balanced, subject and verb, complete ideas. Let's get some, uh, ex some uh, examples. <laughs> examples, all right? So the first one, mystery went to the store. As you can see, mystery went to the store is a complete idea, okay? He bought a bicycle. That's a complete idea. He bought a bicycle. What did he do? He bought a bicycle. But seeing as we're doing a conjunction and comma lesson, we're gonna slip that comma in, and there's little comma girl. So Mr. E went to the store, comma, and he bought a bicycle. Remember we said and is when we want to do an addition. He went to the store. In addition, he bought a bicycle. Next, Tia moved to a new city. Okay, complete idea. Comma girl. And, and then we had said there, so she got a new apartment. Okay, she got a new apartment is a complete idea. She got a new apartment. So is a result. Because if you live in one place and you go to a new place, you can't live in the same place. You got to get a new place. So she got a new apartment. The result is that. And there's comma girl and our conjunction. All right. And third, E, I know you wrote this. Every time he leaves, something goes on the board. This wasn't James to start off with, but <laughs> we'll say it's James. James is a stupid man for leaving this on the board. Comma girl, yet. He married a smart woman. He married a smart woman, a complete idea. <clears throat> James is a stupid man. I didn't say that. <clears throat> also a complete idea. We have yet as the conjunction. And there's comma girl, once again, being followed by her fanboy. All right. It's a great relationship. It always works. It always happens. Always, 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 as you can tell, believe me, it always happens. Remember, don't say always, because as soon as you say always, you are wrong. What? I didn't finish reading in red like blood. However, even the best relationships can break up. What do you mean? Comma girl and fanboy won't be together forever? No. If the conjunction joins a complete sentence with a sentence fragment, no comma is needed. Let me 
redo that for you again in English. You see, if the conjunction joins a complete sentence and a sentence fragment, which is like a phrase, it might be a fat cat, a big car, these are not complete ideas. Then you don't need a comma. Comma girl and fanboy will break up. It's true. Uh, comma boy, fanboy is like, oh, we don't need you, man. I'm a conjunction alone, alone with my thoughts and myself, just joining two, two things together. And comma girl, I kiss you off. I'm a fanboy, this hurts. I'm gonna be alone. So here's an idea, or no, here, here's an idea. Here is a complete sentence, and you'll notice I got Batman in again, all right? Mr. E is going to buy a Batman comic, okay? I didn't put that in there, I was running out of room trying to save space and save the planet, okay? So he's going to buy a comic. He's going to buy a Batman comic. That's a complete idea. Or a Superman comic. A Superman comic is not an idea. It's a thing, okay? So we're joining, and I'll put comic because I know there are those purists there. I know it doesn't look like much. Don't worry, it's just comic because I don't want you going on and going, he didn't write comic. It's not a complete idea, okay? So a Batman comic or a Superman comic. This is not a complete idea. So you don't need a comma. Notice how it's unbalanced. We looked up here, we said, if it's balanced with a conjunction, comma. Down here, we say no comma, why? The complete sentence is an idea, it's heavy by itself. The sentence fragment is too light, it doesn't balance it out, it just flows away, okay? Now, I hope you like that explanation and my shirt. And uh, it's an E true story. It's true, it happened, fanboy, comma girl, anyway. Test, quick test, as you know. How about the first one we're going to look at? Mr. E likes to eat hamburgers and pepperoni pizza. Comma, no comma. No, I tricked you. <laughs> pepperoni pizza, man, it's just describing a pizza. It's not a sentence, it's just a, it's a pepperoni pizza. It's very good, mind you, but sorry, no relationship. Comma girl and fanboys are out right now. Let's see if we're gonna go for our next swing at bat. What happens? James has not been to Barcelona, nor has he lived in London. James has not been to Barcelona. I could put a period. That's an idea. He has lived in, nor has he lived in Barcelona. Hmm. Hmm. He has not had, nor has he lived in Barcelona. Yes, has he lived in Barcelona? He has lived in London. Oh, he's lived in London. I guess I could do this, right? Yeah, you're good. Give you time. You can figure these things out. What about the last one? This is a tough one. Elena likes ice cream, but it gives her gas. Elena likes ice cream. What is gas, you say? <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I had a little gas, a little gas. Oof, oof. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. She likes ice cream, but it gives her gas. What does that mean? Well, that's an idea. It gives her gas. That's an idea. And we have, I said, this is a conjunction. Where does the conjunction go? It goes here. Ah, sucker, tricked you. Remember, our conjunctive boys love to follow our beautiful comma girl, right? So it has to go before, right? They almost tricked you, but you were too smart for me. I know. Why do I know this? Because you go to Ingvid. What do I say? You know, www.ing, as in English, vid, as in video, dot com, where you will go, I know, because you want to do the real quiz, right? Make sure you get 10 out of 10 on that. I also want to thank you once again for joining us for our little lessons and our little play. <laughs> play on words and play with the t-shirts. Great having you and uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, ciao.